Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. We are finally here with the Poison Ivy 2.0 because um, I've been promising for days to come up with an all-around build that can do it all. Kill Uber Lilith without playing the mechanics, uh, kill 100 Nightmare Dungeon as well as the last boss in Stagger um, to destroy Butcher with ease etc and this is what i came up with this is the build as you could have seen in the previous uh, video that can literally destroy lilith it can do the same for 100 nightmare dun dungeons as you are about to see right now it has a lot of survivability and going from one version nightmare version to lilith version only takes around 10 seconds to swap three items around a few skill points and you don't have to change a single paragon point, a single glyph, it all works for everything. It also works for PvP, but let's be honest, PvP requires so many different aspects. Uh, all of the stats on your gear uh, has absolutely different stat value, uh, etc. So even though it works, uh, it's definitely not the best. If you want to play PvP, I really, really suggest uh, making uh, a separate build, a separate uh, set of items, because uh, yeah, as I've said, everything uh, has to be different for that build. Um, so uh, let's get right uh, to it. Uh, one thing uh, to note is that we are now playing momentum the reason for momentum is that um i wanted to make this build not only all around to be able to do um everything in the game but to also be the most accessible build for beginners and pros alike uh the easiest build to play and thus the best build you can find as you will be able to play this build till the season ends uh to finish all of your um end game goals no matter how experienced or seasoned player of Diablo uh, you are. So this is it baby. If you want to play with close quarters combat uh, all you have to do is uh, to play Poison Ivy, the original Poison Ivy with the new Paragon board uh, because I min maxed it to an absolute maximum to get the most damage out of it uh, as well as a good balance of uh, survival. Ability, um, and then you just swap your uh, gems around uh, because it was uh, discovered by Chinese testers that damage over time actually increases barber damage uh, as well because barber is considered shadow damage over time it's not shadow damage flat so if you are playing with poison imbuement in any kind of build then um, it's definitely purple gems in your uh, weaponry uh, to benefit both the barber um, and your poison imbuement also it makes it easier uh, to just swap barber for creeping dev heart if barber is not uh, what you want to be playing with um so yeah let's get right into it uh sorry for the long intro but um yeah i hope uh, you will enjoy the build mm. oh my god i hate stingers I hate stingers so badly. Maybe that's why I um, also hate older scave. But um, we can't be pickers. We can do it all. Gotta kill the um, stingers first. They actually hurt uh, more than like uh, the bosses. So. I don't see shit. It's probably because I was dazed. Oh, it's gonna explode! <laughs> that was too too close to my liking. And this I take, this I don't care about. Ooh, damage, 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 damage. Easy. The best bla balance between damage and survivability you can get in this game is momentum with my paragon board baby what where <laughs> where the hell did we jump oh uh, let's not get hit, hit by that whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. that's uh, a lot of enemies a lot of aoe damage etc oh I forgot, this build is OP. 
we can just live it all. Haha. <laughs> oh, I should probably not yell or my neighbors are gonna kill me. Paper walls. Paper walls are not good for gaming. If you didn't know. <laughs> Where's my bursting venom? There it is. There it is, baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, no poison imbuement, that's not nice. We can just, uh, you know, play it a little bit safe. We got our poison imbuement now, so now we go back in. We dash at the end, uh, so that the poison imbued um, orbit from our um, twisting blades gets to as many enemies as possible. No, 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 I used it too soon. I was greedy with uh, I was greedy with a shadow step there, um, and use it before I actually got stunned. Unfortunate. No matter what build you're playing, you cannot survive instant kill if you simply misplay what uh, you're supposed to do. Easy. This was my uh, revenge time, baby. My revenge time. Mm. Do -do 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 -do. Bye bye. Bye bye. I love this build. Oh my god, I love it. I suck at it, as um, with any build, but <laughs> I love it. What? 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 Why would it? Mm. <laughs> yeah, the auto targeting of uh, some of these spells um, is kind of questionable. Kind of questionable. Like sometimes I um, try to shadow step on an enemy. I'm playing on a controller, obviously, as you can see. And instead, I like shadow step on a barrel through the wall um, and stuff like that, which um, is kind of cringe. But um, that's just uh, how it is. Whoa, 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 whoa! Uh, we got into a nasty situation there. And we recovered easily. Easily, baby. No. <laughs> I did it again. Oh, not the explosion. That still would have been an instant kill. Gotta jump around to spread my poison to as many enemies as possible. To be honest, I wouldn't even be surprised if that one singer killed me with those two attacks because um, this is actually my first Diablo game. Um, so I'm not sure whether it's supposed to work like that, but it still feels kind of cringe that like bosses do nothing, even though well they're they're the boss, like they're the you know the end of the dungeon, and these like small fodder mobs. Uh, can instant kill you. That's kind of yeah, weird, in my opinion. I think they should balance it out. Like, make some of these uh, mobs, especially ranged mobs, a little bit uh, weaker, because well, melee mobs don't do anything really, and um, the end game boss is a lot harder. And I mean, like, I don't know, three times, four times, maybe even five times harder. I wouldn't mind. Like, th th they don't really do anything. Like, they don't have um, they don't have any kind of damage, uh, they have no mechanics, like, I really don't know, uh, what's, um, like, what's the point of them being in the game, you know? How did so many enemies get there? What? Woo! Momentum build by the way, okay, so... A lot of healing, a lot of survivability. Uh, as And as you can see, it pretty much deals the same damage as playing close quarters combat. 
like you don't really need to do more so um, that's why I decided to go for more survivability uh, with momentum over close quarters combat because uh, yeah no more damage is really needed like look everything's dying left and right even when we don't have our poison imbuement up um, the damage is very respectable though obviously this is a poison build um, so if we have it up it's better oh that's uh, probably the end of the dungeon right and that's it so older scave uh, pretty easy unless you do some apish mistakes like uh, I have and uh, poison ivy 2.0 for you guys so thank you for watching see you at the next one